video we shall demonstrate how to use a micrometer screw gauge. The instrument consists of an anvil and a spindle, a lock, a sleeve, a thimble, and a ratchet. This picture shows the various components of the micrometer screw gauges. We observe that the sleeve has values in half millimeters and the thimble divides a half a millimeter into 50 parts. So this means that when we rotate the thimble by one turn, it opens the spindle by half a millimeter. So it takes two turns to open the spindle one millimeter. The precision of the instrument is plus or minus 0.01 millimeter. We start reading the value exposed on the sleeve and then followed by the reading on the thimble. So the reading on the sleeve is 6 and the thimble is reading 0.26. So we add them together, 6.26 .6 millimeters is the measurement. We shall now rotate the thimble by one full turn to see the difference between the previous reading and the, the reading now. When we do this, we note that on the sleeve, the reading is 6.5 millimeter and the thimble is reading 0.26. So the measurement is 6.76 millimeters. We shall now measure the diameter of a wire. We open the spindle by rotating the thimble and place the wire between the anvil and the spindle. And we use the ratchet when we close the instrument to prevent any damage to the wire. We lock the reading and prepare to read. Now we read from the sleeve and then from the thimble. The sleeve shows 0.5 millimeter and the thimble shows a 0.06 millimeter. So when we add them up, it's a 0.56 millimeter measurement. We shall now repeat the reading at the same point by rotating the micrometer 90 degrees to the previous one. Use the ratchet and lock the reading. And we again read the value. And the sleeve shows 0 0.5, and the thimble shows 0 0.07. So the reading is 0 0.57 millimeter. Then we log everything into a table and find the average diameter at that point 0 0.565 millimeter. We shall repeat the measurement at a different point on the wire. So we open the instrument and place the wire between the anvil and the spindle. Use the ratchet and lock the measurement and we read from the sleeve and then from the thimble. And this shows a 0.5 millimeter on the sleeve and 0.07 on the thimble. So the measurement is 0.57 millimeter. Again, we shall repeat the measurement at the same point by rotating the instrument 90 degrees 
to this position we always use the ratchet to close the instrument and lock the reading so that the measurement is fixed and again we read from the sleeve and from the thimble the sleeve shows a value of 0 0.5 and the thimble 0 0.07 so the measurement is the addition of these two numbers 0 0.57 millimeter we again log everything into a table and find an average value and the global average for the diameter is 0 0.57 millimeter We shall now use a digital micrometer screw gauge to measure the diameter of a wire. This instrument is precise up to 0.001 of a millimeter. And we first close the instrument and reset the value before taking any reading. We open the micrometer and place the wire between the anvil and the spindle. We always use the ratchet to close the instrument. And now we can read directly from the display, which is very easy, showing a value of 0 0.583 millimeter. We repeat the reading at the same point, but 90 degrees to the previous position, using the ratchet to close the instrument. And we read the number on the display and this shows a 0 0.553 millimeter. We log everything into a table and find the average value of the diameter at that point. We repeat again the measurement of the diameter of the wire by choosing another point on the same wire. We close the instrument first and reset the display and then we open it up to place the wire between the anvil and the spindle and close the instrument using the ratchet. We read the measurement directly from the display and this shows a 0 0.581 millimeter. We shall rotate the micrometer by 90 degrees at the very same point and measure the diameter again. We read the value from the display and this shows that the diameter is 0 0.618 millimeter. We record everything in a table and work out an average and the average diameter of this wire is 0.584 millimeters.